you, man. You're welcome. Wish me luck on this interview. All right, good luck, man. You ever hear that old cliche, you never realize what you had until it's gone? It's true. And I learned it the hard way. I'm John Bilson. I used to be a successful businessman. When I told people to jump, they would say, how high? People ask me to help them succeed. Now, people ask me if I need help. There was a time when I ruled the world. Now, I'm nothing. This is my story. So, should we start with the weight loss program? Yeah, I guess so. All right, tell me where that went wrong. Well, I had this idea for a weight loss program, but I couldn't decide at first if this was a mail order product or an online service. I was noticeably unclear about that in my commercials. Anyway, in the weight loss videos, I'd tell people to eat Pop-Tarts, Cheetos, and apple pie. I also had this dumb idea to include coupons for bacon with the DVDs. I figured people would ridicule me for trying to pass off this obvious bullshit as a real weight loss tutorial, but it actually really took off. I sold these dieting videos to 10 million Floridians for $29.95 each. They made me a rock star overnight. So what happened then? I got greedy. I dumped all my money into making some shitty soda. I thought it was a sure thing. It did well in the test run. I, I don't understand what happened there. After you cut your losses with the soda, how did you get back on your feet? Well, I used what little money I had to get into property management. I started renting out homes to young adults. I thought being a landlord would be a good way to provide a valuable service to the community. Hey, uh, Kevin, uh, where's the rent? It's not due yet. It's not due yet. You know I like my rent due early. That's ridiculous. You. You gave me a lease, I signed it, rent's due on the first of the month, it's the 23rd. What do you want from me? You're staying on my property, and I like my rent due early. You didn't even fix the AC, it doesn't work yet. When are you gonna do that? You know, the fact that you're even bringing up the AC to me when you don't pay your rent early, it's disrespectful, and if you had any respect, you'd pay your rent double early. <laughs> you mean twice as much or twice as early? Both. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. I will pay you on time as we've laid out in the lease, and you need to fix the AC because it is 86 degrees in February. It is hot. I pay you every month to live on this property. The least you could do is maintain it. Well, the rules just changed. Rent is due early, and I just doubled it. That, you can't do that. It's not legal. It's my property. I can do what I want. We'll talk about it tomorrow, but uh, why don't you cut your fucking grass? You're ridiculous. No, you are ridiculous. So you wanted to do some good for your fellow man? Well, sure. It's the honorable thing to do. When society gives you a gift, you need to give back. It's only fair. Hmm, okay. Let's talk about the murder charges. All right. Yeah, um, so that was a bit later. Well, I fell on hard times after I got sued by some tenants for being a slumlord. Apparently there were some regulatory requirements put in place in the 1930s that my properties didn't live up to. Who would have thought houses need running water, huh? <laughs> anyway, I had to file for bankruptcy in 2014. I was desperate to repair my image, and I ended up trying to do community outreach work. One thing led to another, and I killed one of the people I was supposed to help. It felt awful. Thank God the cops forgot to read me my Miranda rights, so I was uh, acquitted. So why did you do it? You do crazy things when you lose this level of status. Think about it. There was a time when I was getting covered by Forbes, the New York Times, and the Wall Street Journal. But by 2016, I was riding public buses and looking for work. I'd never lived like that. I gotta tell you, the distance I fell, buddy, I used to evict people on a whim. I would slash wages. Employees still begged me to keep them on the payroll. 
that kind of power changes the guy. Once you've made it, you can never go back to being a nobody. But that's what I am right now. What are your plans for the future? I want to open a facility where young people learn how to work with their hands. They'll get early experience in the workforce and they'll produce valuable products. It'll be tough, but rewarding. That sounds like a sweatshop. It is kind of like a sweatshop, yeah. I see. Well, best of luck in your future endeavors. I hope you're able to get back on your feet someday. Thank you. Hey buddy, uh, you got any kids that need work experience? Cause I got the investment opportunity of a lifetime and it's just for you. Dear Mr. Bilson, I saw the interview you did with WFLX Channel 8 and I must say, I'm impressed. You're a guy who's just always looking for ways to make the world more exploitive, aren't you? I had the same idea for a youth work facility myself. I think I could help you get back on your feet. If you and I could enter into a joint venture where we open up this sweatshop, we could split the profits and you'd be back up at the top in no time. I'm willing to handle all the paperwork. We'll need some money to get it off the ground. If you send me your share today, I can match it and begin renting out some warehouse space. I think $15,000 should do it. Just transfer it to me over PayPal and we can get started. Looking forward to working with you. Best wishes, L. Mark Sanfordson. Unfortunately, after I gave him the money, I never heard from L. Mark Sanfordson again turned out that he was the son of the guy I killed. Ruining me became his life's mission after I was acquitted. I had charged this investment to a credit card, so this just plummeted me further into debt. After I told my roommate I'd no longer be able to pay him rent, he kicked me out. Yeah. Come on, man! I don't deserve this! I did nothing to deserve this! Hey, how you doing? Uh, would you mind sparing some change? Uh, Kevin, what are you doing here? I live here. You live here? You look pretty good for yourself. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I don't want to take too much of your time. But uh, basically, my life is uh, falling apart. Uh, remember Coca Cola, the soda I made? It was shit. Uh, agree to disagree. But anyway, um, then after that, uh, I was on trial for uh, murder, which uh, between you and me. Okay? Doesn't matter. Uh, if you could spare just any change, anything would help, uh, please. Yeah. Yeah, I think I could spare some change. Oh my god, Kevin. You have no idea how much- Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> 